Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you Passbook. Now, when you updated your device, you probably see this new app, Passbook, and you're like, well, what do I do with it? When you open it up, there's absolutely nothing in there. It just tells you about what can be in there and then it gives you a link to the App Store. Well, there is a couple different things you can do with it and exactly like it says, you can put boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons in here. And I'm gonna just show you a quick example of one app that can add a pass to Passbook. Now that one is the Walgreens app, and you guys may have Walgreens in your area, you may not, but this is one app that does have the capability to add a pass. So if we go into the Walgreens app here, and you just see this uh, main screen, down here in the bottom corner we have a rewards section, and that's where they have their little rewards cards for Walgreens. And so if we tap on that, you'll be able to see here that I have my rewards card. Now, I can add this card to my passbook using that little button right there, add to passbook. So if I tap on that button, we get a pop-up here and it says, add to passbook. Select your preferred Walgreens location and passbook will have your balance rewards card displayed when you are near the store. So I can add it with store and it'll ask me to type in my city. So let's just type in Phoenix. So I'm just gonna hit this one just for whatever. And it says loading passbook. All right, so it pulls up our pass in passbook here. And then I can tap on add in the top corner. Now we have added that pass to passbook. So if we back out of here and we go into passbook, you'll see our Walgreens card in there. And I know this looks a little weird on the screen, but passbook automatically turns up the brightness all the way on your screen when you launch it. It does that because it makes it easier to scan the barcode at the bottom there. So that's just a quick little rundown of Passbook. There's actually a bunch of other apps in the App Store that are Passbook compatible. And I'll put a link down below to let you guys know where to find Passbook compatible applications. So you can only use Passbook with apps that actually include that functionality. Also with Mountain Lion 10.8.2, you do have the ability to add passes via email or via web in Safari. So you could technically have some concert tickets emailed to you and you could tap on the link and it will add it to your Passbook on your iPhone. And it's just kind of supposed to be a good way to keep things like this. So when I go into Walgreens, I'll have my card. I don't have to enter my phone number or have this other little stupid card hanging on my keychain, stuff like that. Makes it a lot easier and it's a lot more convenient in my opinion. So thanks again for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful and it gave you a better understanding of Passbook. My name is Dom and have a great day. <laughs>